I'm Jeannie Jarno. I'm the founder of Beauty Heroes, and I'm here today with Kapua Browning, the founder of Honua Skincare. And we are here in uh, the Palolo Valley on the island of Oahu, and we're here at Kapua's family's home. And I actually came home with her for spring break and for a trip that we've been planning for a really long time. We have. It's been amazing. It's, uh, it's been such a great week having her here with us. And I don't know if a lot of people know this, but I'm actually originally from Honolulu, so it was sort of coming home for me too. And um, but I got to stay with you and your family um, this week, and thank you so much for making this really special and um, collaborating with us on this amazing project, um, that our beach cleanup and a new product from Honua Skincare. I can't wait to share it with all of you. Um, but before we get into that, I mm -hmm. want to, I don't know how much everybody knows about your story and it's such a, um, it's such a story that's so close to my heart mm -hmm. and definitely from the moment that I met you, I um, really kind of identified with it and uh, felt really strongly about sharing your story with um, the Beauty Heroes community. So I'd love for you to tell us um, briefly about how Honua came to be and where you are now and where you're going. Wonderful. Well, I've uh, been an esthetician um, for over 12 years now, and I started my career here in Hawaii, um, in Palolo Valley, actually, where I was born and raised. And I, when I became an esthetician, I also wanted to marry my two passions, my passion for skincare and aesthetics and my passion for Hawaiian culture. Mm -hmm. um, we were raised really deeply rooted in the Hawaiian traditions, music, language, um, and the Hawaiian botanicals. And um, we never really used a lot of uh, Western medicine. We resorted a lot to traditional medicine, whether it was acupuncture or Hawaiian healing. Yeah. And I strongly believed in treating the root of symptoms and of concerns. And I took that to heart and decided to use that philosophy in my skincare training. Um, and that's actually how I started practicing and doing my own apothecary style Hawaiian healing spa in Palola Valley. We created products using all traditional Hawaiian healing botanicals. Um, and with the help of my husband, who was also studying La'o Lapa'o or Hawaiian healing at the time, we were able to create a line based on this traditional um, practice. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of where that journey started, and this is where I feel that it really connected is we were forced to move away from Hawaii with our family of six due to the cost of living. Yep, we Hawaii's just, changed a lot it as has. we've been driving around this week and going we, down memory we keep lane. We seeing like new buildings, we're like, where did this come from or yeah. where did that go? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's changed a lot and it's grown a lot and there's uh, 1.2 million people living here on Oahu yeah. and 8 million visitors, uh, visitors a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of people. It is. So um, it was a bittersweet move. It was really difficult at first moving our family away from the place we were so connected to. But looking back at my journey, I knew it was all meant to be and had to happen. Um, and there's a reason for everything. And the birth of Honua actually came out of this move. Um, before I talked about this apothecary uh, style spa, it was just products for myself, my family, and my customers. Mm -hmm. It was very small coveted line that you could only get if you were um, a client, a of, client of mine. Yeah, facial client. But after moving away, um, it, we had customers and clients there wanting. There was demand. demand. <laughs> <laughs> but, and so that's when we decided we needed to create a skincare line that we could touch more faces and really make a difference and share our product on a global level. Um, right, and also support the farmers and the agricultural. That's a um, huge part yeah. of Honua. That really is what convinced me. Um, I was hesitant about starting a brand. The business side for me scared me a little bit. Um, but my goal, my overall mission, is what really drove me to make it happen. Um, and a huge part of our mission is supporting local agriculture, local farms. Reforestation is a big one for me. Um, I would love to see a lot more farmland than buildings going up, basically. And for me, the bigger Honua grows and the more farmers we can invest in, the more trees and plants we can reforest, it helps to um, give reason for them to stay put and grow and not have to take that money for development. 
Yeah, and that's what I love so much about Honua. Honua means earth, uh, first of all. And as I've been working with Kapua, I've seen firsthand um, how she's really incorporated all of these ingredients from these local farms and how much you really do give back to these farms. And I really see the future of Honua as you coming back here and really making an impact on the agriculture and creating jobs and creating sustainable jobs and um, preserving the land mm -hmm. and the traditional culture of Hawaii. Um, and I just, being here this week, we've been eating a lot of local food mm -hmm. and trying a lot of, you know, sort of seeing how um, all of it's just really intertwined mm -hmm. and I just know that you're on your way back here with your family and going to be um, growing in a way that's really um, going to make an impact on the island, which um, I think is really, really cool. So by uh, supporting Honua, we are supporting sort of the people of Hawaii. And, Thank you. Um, I love that. I love that aspect of your brand and it's just so authentic. It. Yeah. And that's definitely a long term goal for our family. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people, everybody's been asking me since we're here this week, we've kind of been um, enjoying Hawaii and also sort of planning for a beach cleanup that we were doing on Saturday. Can't wait and, for that. Uh, they've been, and uh, they've been asking how we decided, how we came up with this idea mm -hmm. to do it. That was a funny story. Well, yeah. a fun story. Yeah, so why don't you, why don't you start? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I think it started actually when I called Jeannie um, sometime last year and I was really excited to tell her about our new product that we are launching and it's been in the works for since day one actually um, I knew I needed to create a sun protection um, day cream and we had a lot a lot of requests to create one um, but the main thing that I knew I had to address when creating this product was that it needed to be a reef safe SPF. Mm -hmm. um, it's an issue that's heavily impacted our ocean and our reefs. Um, Jeannie is actually really keen on um, some of that information as well. So it really started this whole conversation. And that's kind of remember how it started. Right. Well, I think just being from Hawaii, we are both really connected to the ocean. Yeah. Um, and ocean health and all that, you know, it's interesting the ocean plastic. Mm -hmm. problem didn't exist when we were growing up. No one talked about this. No. And reef safe sunscreen was not something that, you know, was an issue. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's really an issue that's been coming to light in the last 10 years mm -hmm. and that's becoming really important as we understand the issue. Mm -hmm. It's important that we take action to um, to mitigate it. So mm -hmm. uh, Beauty Hero, so as Kapua was telling me about uh, the reef safe sunscreen, I kind of got excited because we had just decided to partner with Five Gyres. Mm -hmm. as um, an organization that we wanted to support on an ongoing basis mm -hmm. because of their efforts to address the global ocean plastic crisis. And yeah, that yeah. Was, and I remember getting really excited because mm -hmm. we had actually just started um, our discussion with Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii um, and our partnership with them for this entire line. Um, our ocean, we are calling it our Ocean's Love Line, and we're donating a percent of every ocean product sold, which is, um, we'll talk about in a little bit, to Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii. So the fact that we had chosen yeah. two very parallel nonprofits without even discussing it with each other, and it was kind of divine timing for it all to happen. It was chicken skin. Chicken skin, <laughs> exactly. Spons, how you yeah, guys say, yes. Yeah. Um, and what I love about both of those organizations is I've t spoken to both of them and they mm -hmm. both speak really highly about each other. They say, oh, Five Gyres mm -hmm. is such a great organization yeah. and Five Gyres says, oh, Sustainable Coastlines is a great organization. So it's really great that this all kind of happened and we're sort of creating this community and we've, we're actually, we have people flying in for this beach cleanup mm -hmm. and uh, for me it was really important that I did something like this with you know with beauty heroes mm -hmm. um but also with my family mm -hmm. that's kind of what it started we were wanting to plan this trip just for our family and our kids and we really wanted it to be an eye-opening um trip for them and not just a fun vacation to hawaii we wanted them to open their eyes to the reality of what's happening to our ocean and um, so they can make mindful decisions themselves as children on uh, plastic consumption, on waste diversion, on just choices in life. And I think 
it started as a family trip and then we're like wow our customers really should be hearing the same information and people around the world who think of Hawaii and our oceans as this just constantly beautiful self-replenishing place that's never going to be harmed when in reality it's it's you know there's so much going on that could yeah yeah it's really um it's really astonishing so yeah um so we decided to extend it to our friends our family our customers mm -hmm. and now people literally are flying in mm -hmm. for this event which i'm so uh just honored and surprised mm -hmm. and excited <laughs> about and we're gonna make it a fun day and and an educational day and a productive day mm -hmm. So Kapua, tell me about this month's hero product, Malu, your newest um, addition to your line. I am very excited to be able to finally be launching this product. It's been a two year journey to bring this to market. And one of the struggles I had in the beginning, I think, is that I was wanting, I was so used to creating more traditionally extracted products that um, I had Almost a hard time make them by hand. Exactly. You could make them by hand. I can hand. and I do yeah. make them by hand, but with this one I knew I needed a little more help from the labs if I wanted to create an SPF 30 that I could truly stand behind because I knew all the rigorous testing that it needed to go through sure. to give it that right. the credentials of an SPF. Yeah. So what I did with this product was I worked on it again for years to get it right. And we introduced a few of my favorite Hawaiian botanicals that I knew are wonderful for protecting the skin. And add, added some natural SPFs like our non-nano zinc, which is our active ingredient in this one. So right. there are no chemical SPFs in this, um, which we were talking about earlier, are the ingredients, are one of the four ingredients that are really harming our reefs. Yeah, so oxybenzone, octanoxate, mm -hmm. and uh, several other ingredients like butylparaben are all really harmful to the reefs. So it's, um, zinc is a reef safe SPF, yes. it's a physical um, block. Exactly, and, and non-nano is also non very important. Mm -hmm. The nanoparticles can get into the marine life in the fish and it's not good as well. Right. Um, so for that reason, we went with non-nano zinc as the main active ingredient and we use our Hawaiian ingredients that we added are noni, which I have used in some of my products before because mm -hmm. it is such an amazing ingredient and I can't say enough about it's it. It's really good for skin. Yeah. It is. Um, but that noni, the reason it's so great is it's high in vitamin C and selenium and it's a whole food version of it. And it's really giving us that extra protection in our SPF from sun damage and other concerns. Yeah. Um, another ingredient is our laukahi plant, which is new to Honua. I've used it before in Hawaiian Healing. My husband has for years, but it's the first time making its debut in our Ocean Love line. Mm. Uh, and it's, it actually looks like a weed or a shrub. A lot of people would stumble over and not know how powerful it is. Mm -hmm. um, it's and what a, does it do? Yeah, it's a beautiful skin regenerator, detoxifying pulls um, a lot of that environmental, I like to call it like junk almost, out of the skin. So it's working to protect your skin and also draw out any toxins or things that enter it. Mm -hmm. uh, our aloe vera is also in this one. Yeah. And the scent, that was one of your yeah. favorite parts about it. Yeah. Um, the scent is coming from pikake or a jasmine. And for me, I used to love picking the flowers when I was little. That smell is just very nostalgic for me. And I don't put anything in my products just for scent reasons though. Right. The jasmine flower actually is beautiful for evening the skin tone. Yeah. So everything has a purpose. Yeah, I mm -hmm. love the scent of this um, of this SPF. So it really um, feels good. It's got such a uh, light texture, you can see, and it absorbs really quickly and it smells amazing. I mean, I've been testing it for months now, Yeah. Um, but I've been wearing it all week here in Hawaii and I've been testing it. Um, I've been wearing it on my neck, on my chest, on my face, and we've been in the sun a lot mm -hmm. um, and I love it and I love the scent of it. If you love Honua products, you already, you are going to be so excited about this um, SPF and uh, it's travel friend it's in a travel friendly yep. size mm -hmm. like all your products are it is and it comes with a very special sidekick so it does. tell us about that so the sidekick that we're putting in the box is called Moana and it's a creamy mask and it has the beautiful colors of the ocean almost a greenish a little bit of blue it's so pretty um, which is coming from our Hawaiian spirulina 
um, and also um, that group green blue algae in it. Mm -hmm. um, that product also contains our laukahi. Yep. And what's special is um, it has macadamia nut oil, which is coming from a family friend farm that um, they just bought an oil press for, and I'm really excited to start using her product. So, and what her island? Ingredients. A big island. From the big island. Yeah. And then the honey? Oh, yeah, and our honey. Our raw honey comes from Ho'ola Honey, a beautiful um, family owned company to a smaller company on the big island of uh, Hawaii. It's very brightening too. It kind of yeah. goes along great with our ocean um, theme because not only are the ingredients ocean inspired, but it's beautiful for post sun. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to give you that refreshed feeling, invigorated, that glow, and it also helps to address pigmentation and helps brighten the skin. Yeah. So, so this month, um, everybody is going to be introduced to malu, which means protection mm -hmm. in Hawaiian, mm -hmm. and moana means ocean. ocean. Yeah, two really, really beautiful um, words. And I know that the, um, I, I want you to just quickly tell us about the packaging because sure. I know each box has a really special message in it. And sure. some people probably already know about it, but um, it's such a core part of Honua that I think uh, can't be talked about enough. Yeah. Our packaging is very special to me. It tells our story. I wanted it to be something where when people open it up, each flap that they open, they learn a little bit more about who we are as a company. Um, from the very beginning, we talk about Honua Earthland Foundation, what it means and who we give back to. And we already talked about that in the beginning of our interview. And a personal thank you letter from myself. And then at the heart of the package represents also the core of our mission and values, which is to share the Aloha Spirit worldwide. And we just came out of doing a master class and I really went deep into sharing um, what Aloha truly is. And I feel that this message is just very special. It is in the inside of all of our packaging and we encourage people to keep their products with the package as long as you can next year rituals to remind you daily to live and share Aloha. Yeah. And I've been living with Kapua this week and her family, and she really, they all do live aloha every day. So, Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Speaking of packaging, though, you have something special here that yes. I adore, and yeah. I actually keep it in my bag now religiously. Yeah. I created my own little Hawaiian I hope everybody spirit. will, because um, we created, well, when Kapua called me um, about this, I had had this idea to um, want to send glass straws mm -hmm. to all of Beauty Heroes members because I care. I've been carrying a straw around in my um, in my purse for so a smart. few years now, and it's just a small thing. It sort of sparked a bigger movement in my own personal life, um, where it started with me replacing straws. Somebody gave me a straw, and it changed the way that I interact with you know, plastic and all mm -hmm. of the things in my daily life and you just realize how much we use and how much we throw away every day. And mm -hmm. We've all seen the videos about um, how str how straws. many straws we are using in the, on this planet every single day and mm -hmm. we're throwing them away and they're ending up in our oceans. So it's one really simple thing that we can do um, mm -hmm. to make a difference and I think Hopefully, most people, once they start using a, a glass straw, you'll love the experience of using it so much more, mm -hmm. but it also will inspire other actions. So sure. um, we're including one in every um, one of your sure. discoveries this month. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been just such an incredible collaboration, so much wrapped up in um, our friendship. I feel really grateful. Kapua lives um, about 45 minutes from me, so we get to see yes. each other frequently. It makes it really easy to it's collaborate. It's made me feel like more at home. Yeah. It really has helped my transition in California. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, and it's helped me to remember what I love so much about Hawaii and where I'm from, so thank you. Thank you. Mahalo. Aloha. Yeah. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs>